Welcome back to Gamer Zero. I'm your host, T. Heal. So, tonight I'm going to get out my demo impressions for two games that hit PSN um, and Xbox Live. First one's going to be Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage, and the second one's going to be Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. So, just to set up a scenario in my history, if you haven't been following, I'm an anime fan. I grew up watching anime. I'm an artist by nature, so you know I have a passion towards these subjects, especially to these games, uh, these franchises, Fist of North Star and Dragon Ball. I grew up on, so I had, I won't say expectations going into it, but let me just set it up for you. When I first saw the videos for uh, Fist of North Star, I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be cool because they showed like what was scripted, just like the really cut, kind of like in-game cutscenes when you're doing a combat. Um, maneuver and it really blew me away and then as they showed more it started to came become very clear to me that it was very much the same mechanics over and over they didn't show any difference of pacing uh, no variety um, and then I pick up the demo and it's exactly what you know I told my buddy night gen hero that I had a very bad feeling that this game was gonna be just like a dynasty warriors game but with pretty much a paint job of this and North Star on it. And I was right. Um, I played the demo, um, even with, you know, Ken's cool, but I'm a big Ray fan. I played the demo with Ray. Um, he looks like Ray. The environment kind of looks like the world that happens in uh, Fist of the North Star. It just, it was Dynasty Warriors, but with even more problems and the problems are the mechanics are so clunky there's a lag in between when you start attacks when you stop attacks uh, the enemies can attack you from the and just back where you know in this day and age when you're playing like a Bayonetta a God of War uh, a Ninja Gaiden a Devil May Cry when you can stop your attack and then switch it up and go in another direction it feels almost archaic from a gameplay mechanics design to have to be locked into your move because in a real fight, if I'm throwing a punch or whatever, I can fake. I can, oh, 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 and stop my move. I can stop what I'm doing. You're locked in. I mean, yeah, you can wait for that one old tech to go through and then not pursue that combo, but you can't stop and then move. So the enemies can, they can, you know, it's a Dynasty, st st dynasty Warrior style game, so the enemies surround you. I mean, they're stupid. They're not going to rush in and start beating up on you. They're not overly aggressive, at least not on the setting that was defaulted to. Um, that being said, they still can pop shot you from the back. And once you're in a combo fighting somebody, unless your combo turns you around, they've got complete advantage. That, on top of the fact that, you know, there's like a motorcycle scene where you get, oh, cool, I got a motorcycle. It, it felt so robotic, your movements on it. Like, pretty much, you go to stop. And if you want to turn the bike, it just pretty much goes like this. I mean, it, there's no, it doesn't feel right at all. Um, feels very, very mechanical. Um, and watching the anime and knowing how fluid and fast and action-packed the anime is, it, the game, this, at least from my the demo impressions, did not live up to the franchise. There's some, like the character models capture the character, the characters in the anime right to an extent but it's just it feels like a pretty much a dynasty of warriors with a paint job for uh fist and north star so if somebody said hey are you gonna buy this game i'm not gonna buy it right now if it was given to me as a gift i'll you know i'll take it of course am i gonna rent it i might rent it because i am a fist and north star fan but am i gonna be rent going out to go rent it tomorrow no I'm, I've got enough stuff to keep me held over for months to come that it's not high priority um, so for you guys if you are if you want a good game with great mechanics that play smoothly and is up to date with current generation and current um, game design for the mechanics and everything then this game is not for you if you like Dynasty Warrior games and those are like your bread and butter pick this game up but know that there's going to be lag going into it and on top of that the, the scenery is just really really like 
non lively. And I know the anime was kind of like, oh, you know, it was apocalyptic and it's like Road Warriors type of uh, Mad Max kind of Road Warrior experience. And this is like that, but like a B rated movie budget. So, just want to let you guys right now to pass for me. All right. So, the next one up is Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. Um, my demo impressions for that. I, I don't want you guys to think I'm being like overly cynical. I am a Dragon Ball enthusiast. And especially, this is worse even now because I just came off of Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. And that engine looked like capture the experience of Naruto. And then I played Raging Blast 2, and I had seen the screenshots, and I wasn't impressed with the screenshots knowing that, I mean, there's like, if you're going to go after an anime, and you're going to make a game based after an anime, capture every single aspect of it, because you're not doing justice if you're not. The, the character models have like this painted, watercolor painted experience to them. Nowhere, nowhere outside of posters and cards did, and the comic books the comic covers the manga covers for Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z was there ever watercolor kind of experience it was always very heavy deep if it's a blue there's going to be a, a darker blue as a solid line it was very crisp colors there was no smooth blending of colors um, the energy feels just like really B rated uh, movie like animations um, the characters are just really stiff and if anyone's followed Dragon Ball Z those guys are fast they're all over the place they're they're just really really like non-stop ferociousness and you know I played Dragon Ball Z uh, what is it Budokai Tenkaichi 2 or 3 one of those uh, and that actually looked better than this and this is a more current game um, again like the, the landscaping in this game you know when will these developers realize if you're going to do an anime game, make your character look just like he did in the anime. Cell shaded, sit just like the anime. And then you got to hand paint the background and capture the actual painted experience. Just doing procedural texture mapping to cover these environments doesn't, it makes you feel like this isn't the anime. And then when you do those really, when the developer throws on like a, I don't want to say cheesy because that's really tearing it down, but it just feels like not a lot of love put into the energy attacks, the combat. I mean, each one of these characters from the anime had huge arsenals of moves, huge selection of moves. If you actually know and you've watched all the series, their combat attacks they got plenty, their energy attacks they got lots of, there's a variety. Yes, there's the common type of attacks like the Kamehameha and the Gallic Gun, but uh, there are so many varieties of attacks. And again, it just doesn't have that depth. For some, for an anime that had lots of depth in the fighting, the game doesn't have that. I mean, yeah, there's like the flashiness of it. I mean, Naruto has some depth. But the anime also just has some depth to the fighting. Dragon Ball was really combat. I mean, they were always learning new techniques. They were always doing something crazy. Uh, and the, the game just doesn't have that. So unless you're a Dragon Ball, at least from my perspective, off my initial demo impressions, the graphics right there already for me was like, uh, if I'm going to play a Dragon Ball Z game, I want to play one that looks like the anime. Not watercolor, not like some they got some other person to do it. Um, I want it to look like that experience. Capture the essence of the anime. So that being said, with the graphics putting me off, the, the textures putting me off, the lack of depth in the combat, based, especially since I've got such a robust universe and world of combat to incorporate, to me it's like, they're just trying to get, they're trying to keep cashing in on the Dragon Ball Z franchise. If you're going to make a Dragon Ball free, Dragon Ball Z franchise, go to Cyber Connect 2 and say, hey, look at our series, give us a, the best Dragon Ball Z game you can get. As of right now, 
I don't need the game. I wouldn't, if, unless you absolutely have to have a Dragon Ball Z game right now that's up to date and current, then I could say you could pass. If you are a Dragon Ball lover and you have to have everything Dragon Ball, you can get it. But for me, being a Dragon Ball lover that I am and wanting it to be that experience, I can pass. So those are what I've got for right now. Um, I also download, downloaded uh, Blacklight Tango, um, Need for Speed, Shh, Hot Pursuit, I think is the other one, and the other one was Majin. Um, so I'm really interested to get into Majin um, and Blacklight Tango, and I'm not the best. I like driving games, driving simulator games, um, but I'm not the best. I'm not going to lie. I'm, that's my bread and butter is hack and slash. And... So, but I tried it out a little bit. I don't want to give my impressions yet because I need to play more and learn the mechanics a little bit better before I give my opinion on it. Um, but I'm really pumped to get into Blacklight Tango Down. Blacklight Tango? Yeah, Blacklight Tango Down is what it's called. Um, and then Majin. I want to get into Majin because it looks... There's something about it that catches my attention. Um, don't know how the mechanics are going to hold up. but So, that's what I've got for tonight's episode. Um... You know, you can always follow me on hiphopgamershow.com. On Twitter, it's T underscore Hill Zero. I've been putting out lots of tweets. I'm trying to get more active on Twitter um, so you guys can see what kind of articles I follow, what kind of news that pops up. I'm like, this is something good. This is something that I feel that people should know, especially like statistics that make you think. Like, really? Is this really what's going on? Um, and then just like, you know, people leaving the industry. Um, DLC that's getting leaked so I want you to see that I am pushing Twitter now as well um, and then you know you can always uh, game with me on PSN I'm thinking about and you can follow me it's uh, send me a friend request it's t-hill thinking about next weekend uh, doing an Uncharted 2 gaming session so if any of you have Uncharted 2 and you still are down for a good gameplay session Hit me up. I'm thinking about getting a whole bunch of people together uh, and getting in a couple hours. All right? So that's what I've got for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Gamer Zero. I'm your host, T. Hill. I'm out. Peace.